Welcome back to the 100 Baby Challenge. It is a dreary day outside here at the 100 Baby Way House. Last episode, we ended up having our very first baby move out. Annie Godwin, our very first baby, moved out. She grew up. They grow up so quick, don't they? She grew up and she moved out. This episode, I am hoping to have a few more of those things happen today. Aging up and moving out, you know? Shape up and ship out. We have Blake Wu, who was at school. We have Casey Peters, who was also at school. And we have, down here in the basement, we have good old Everly Yamamoto. You may notice Everly Yamamoto if you are a person who loves Cass in The Sims 4. Uh, Everly Yamamoto has on an outfit that is not in the game, that is not in Cass. To me, she's like a sassy diva. When she was a toddler, she had a black robe on with a cheetah outline on it. So you know what? I thought it was fitting. I don't usually use CC clothing in my game, but I thought this was a fitting moment. So we gave her a makeover and this is her everyday outfit. She also does have some cheetah print on her black uh, pajamas and you will see that throughout. We also gave Blake a makeover as well because he aged up. We are hoping to age up Casey Peters today into 18. And then we have Devin Maddox who is down here hungry and tired. Poor little Devin. And then we have Faith Caps over here who is outside playing in the rocket ship. And lastly, we have Gretchen Hartley who was the last baby born. Before we get going in anything, we need to spend the 100 Baby Challenge Task Wheel to see what we can do this episode. Welcome back to the 100 Baby Challenge Task Spinning Wheel. This is a wheel where Avani, or whichever mother is the current mother at the time, can spin the wheel and do a task throughout the episode for 500 Somalians if they do the task. If they don't do the task, there is no penalty. This is just for fun. So let's get going and spin that wheel. Ooh, we landed on family dinner night. Let me look on my list here. What in the world is family dinner night? Take family out for dinner at a restaurant. You can send the infants and toddlers to daycare. Okay, that helps a lot. The infants and toddlers can go to daycare, but we'll take the children and teens out to a restaurant to go eat after Avani becomes pregnant again. Oh my goodness, let's hope we can find the time to do that in the midst of all the chaos. Well, it looks like we are going to be taking the family out for a nice dinner. Let's hope we have time to do that this episode. We are going to start with a gathering right away to get Avani going on her pregnancy. Let's get that going and see who pops in. Annie's calling right away. Okay, Annie is wondering if she wants to go over to her house. Uh, by the way, she lives in an apartment that I created. Uh, it is called 100 Seedlings Way Number 1. That is where the first eight babies are going to go to. I will eventually show that apartment uh, when we get more babies in there. And who knows, maybe we'll go visit them from time to time because we do want to keep relationships with our children. But right now, uh, Annie, I'm sorry. I'm going to be getting pregnant again within the next few minutes. And uh, a few minutes. Oh, that's funny in The Sims. Anyway, in the next few minutes, and uh, we will visit you at some point soon. Okay, who is the first one spawning in? Who is the first one? All right. Oh, Bowen! You have been waiting since baby daddy number one, and you finally getting your chance. But you know what's going to be great? Taking him off the docket because this guy, every time we go to woohoo with anyone, he literally comes in the room or stands outside the door waiting for us to be done. Okay, Avani, it is time for you to go uh, with Bone Mead and have some chatting, yeah, yeah. get some loving in there. Oh, that would have been nice to do Hunter Coffin Bed today because we could have had a potential for a vampire in the fam. <laughs> well, hello there, Agatha. Oh, uh, anytime I see Agatha riding a bike, that's what it reminds me of, of uh, the Wicked Witch of the West. Let's talk about some handiness with Bowen. Let's try to get <laughs> get him waiting a little bit longer. 
uh, play hard to get a little bit, ask about his day, kiss hands, brighten his day. Oh, we already have some, some flirt with him. Totally. Okay. Uh, let's do a passionate kiss real quick. Can we go over here and no, we can't probably, yeah, we can't do anything. I think it's because this may be either too full or I have no idea. There was a nice kiss there. Bowen is so excited. He's finally getting his chance. Let's, uh, share baby pictures to say, Bowen, are you sure this is what you want to do? Are you really sure that this is what you want to do? You signed up for this program. Are you sure this is what, hello? <laughs> hello, mailman. Let's gossip about other parents. Keep him still on his toes. Alonzo, get out of our conversation. Okay, let's see if we can just go try for baby real quick. Bowen, Bowen has had enough suspense in his life. We'll see. Avani has learned Bowen's woohoo interest. Faith, what did you do here? You ruined a school project. Faith ruined the school project. That's terrible. Okay. Blake's class presentation. Let's just go all out. I'm not even going to read it right now. Performance gain medium. That's great. Avani, we need to woohoo. Woohoo with Bowen. Come on. Come on now. We already said woohoo. Oh, speaking of woohooing, <laughs> which has nothing to do with what I'm going to say right now, I did add the 500 Somalians in for the last challenge that we did, and I took the trait, uh, Gremlins trait off. So that is done and kaput. Are we going to stand up here like we're on a balcony and Romeo and Juliet, you know, talking down to this guy? Try for baby and shower. Come on, guys. We don't have time for this. Oh my gosh, that's great. I'm so glad that you... <laughs> I'm so glad that you like fitness, Everly. Afani, are you trying to play hard to get with Bowen like the best that you can or something? Would you guys just go try for a baby? All right, finally they're walking together to go do something. Let's, let's see. Wow, there are so many people in here and all these kids. But the toilet's broke. Damn it. Bowen, you're finally getting your chance. Is anybody else going to come stand in here and see at the door what we're doing? Bowen said, finally, I don't have to stand at the door and listen. I actually get my chance to make this happen. Let's let them do their thing. Everybody's in here saying how dirty our house is. Forrest, why are you calling it the most inopportune time again? Oh, quick question. Emil Kirk and I were planning to spend some casual friend time together. Go for it, buddy. I could care less who you spend time with. Oh, no, Everly. I was going to say, don't walk in the room right now, Everly. We're doing things. Things that you don't want to see. All right. Looks like we are done. Bowen, did you finally get out all your aggressions after having to wait that long? You finally got him out? Okay. Yep. He's still excited about that. Okay. Avani, go over here and take a pregnancy test and see if you are pregnant. That way we can get his picture. School is out for a day. Okay. Blake is home. Everybody's home still with the B. All right. Good job. I think Blake's or Casey's grades got up. Avani, I said go check for a pregnancy. You don't need... To You're going to woohoo with Bowen for a second time. Wow, you and Bowen really have a compatibility, don't you? Holy cow. Forrest, what now? Oh my gosh. Okay, Blake won a school... Now also Blake won a school prize. Okay, should we give it to him in front of class or quietly and privately? I don't know. Uh, just privately? Good for that. Okay. Now, Avani, go take a pregnancy test. All right, Blake has received an Excellence Bunny Award in his inventory, whatever that means. You know what, though? We're going to sell it for money because we need all the money we can get. Are we eating for two? Has Bowen succeeded? Hey, Bowen has succeeded depositing his seed into our depository. <laughs> Bowen, okay, what we're going to do now is go take a picture of Bowen. Please make this easy. Take photo of Bowen Mead. I really wish that everybody would stop having their pajamas on. Bowen, you will look so excited about this. Oh, Bowen, I don't know. You're going to stay you're going to stay in this pose, Bowen. You really are. I quite like this picture of you too. Good deal. That was simple. Finally, something simple. Before we end the gathering, though, we need to put Bowen in his seed suit. Bowen is now in his seed suit, and we are going to end the gathering. Okay, what we need to do next? We need to take Bowen Mead out of here. Finally, we got rid of this guy. <laughs> 
for for the moment. I wonder. My wonder is: Is this guy gonna start calling us just like Forrest Godwin does? Because he finally got his chance, and now he's just not gonna leave us alone. But anyway, we are gonna get rid of Bowen, and we're gonna add somebody else into the club. Who do we got here? Who do we got? I can't believe they're gonna sit there and let us choose our own child, Blaze Hendricks. That's who we're gonna choose. Blaze Hendricks. I love that name, Blaze. That's pretty rad. Good. We have that set for next time. Awesome. Moving along. First things first, we need to start going down the line and checking everybody out. Bye, everybody. Thanks for your seed, Bowen. Toodles. Okay, Blake, you're very tense. You have level one. All right. You know what you can do? Uh, you can go do your homework. That's what I want you to do here. You cannot do your homework because you're too tense. Can you cook for us? Because that's what I'm going to have you do. Cook. You're going to be the resident cook for now. And we're going to sell this excellence bunny for 55 simoleons because we need money. I should have sold it on the selling table for more. But since the child got it, I'm not going to sell it on the table. And who has ruined it? I know who ruined the project. I know Faith is the one who did it. But whose project was it to ruin? So next person. We are going to go to Casey. He is tired. But unfortunately, Casey, I'm going to have you get up and do your homework and then you can go to sleep if you would like. Faith is level two movement. This is great. Okay, now we are going to Everly. You need to do, nope, your homework is done. What do you need to do? You need to keep getting your skills up. Uh, what skill we need to work on with you though? Uh, your motor skill is the best. So we're going to have you go outside here and we're going to set you up. Yes, you can do this in the rain. You will be totally fine. You're going to go play on the jungle gym. And we're going to hope we get you up to level four in that. Now, Devin, how are you doing? Devin, you can be aged up after we get your thinking finished. You need to get your butt. Yeah, get your butt on that potty, buddy. Holy cow, you're about ready to burst. All right, do you have anything? Yeah, you have this in here. So what is the thing for thinking? That's the blocks. Uh, get your sim shape done. Do that. Faith, how are you? That's not good that you're that dirty, but I don't know what to say about it. Faith, 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 your skills, uh, your movement to, you know what? Communication. Let's go get that done. Go babble with the cat. Avani, uh, you need to go do some heavy duty baby care on this baby. So we need to change their diaper. Baby care, baby care, change dirty diaper, and we need to feed you as well. So everybody's set for the moment. Okay, Blake went to the bathroom, or he is going to the bathroom. Thank you, Blake, for making uh, mac and cheese. That's great that we have more food in the house. I am going to throw this cake away because I'm tired of everyone on the planet eating cake. I don't want that to be a thing. Avani, after you're done taking care of that baby, come repair the stove. Blake, I know, I know everything sucks for you, but for now... Go downstairs, play a game for a while. Play Blick Block. Get your fun up a little bit. We need to have somebody go around and pick up all this laundry because this is crazy. Okay, Everly is level four motor. That's great. You can quit doing that. You can just go, let's see. Level four motor. Yes, yes. You, Everly, can head to sleep for the next day. I don't know how long you're going to be sleeping, but whatever. Okay, go to sleep. Casey, you're sleeping. And then we have Devin. What are you up to, buddy? You're going to work on your thinking. You want to just go sit by Blake and talk in the basement. No, you're not going to do that. You need to finish your thinking. Avani, what did you just do? Did you, you fix that? Now, good. Now, go repair. Please go repair the toilet. Get out of the basement. I don't need you in the basement right now. I need you repairing the toilet. Everly, what is up with you and dancing? How about, I don't want you to sleep right now. I want you to go do the laundry, do laundry and add to wash machine. Maybe you'll go around and collect all that and be super tired by the time you're done. You are sitting at the bottom of the steps here. You're almost done with your thinking, Blake. And then we're aging you up, buddy. Aging you up. Good. You are much better. Blake. I want you to go upstairs for us since you're working on your skills anyway with cooking and that's what you're going to be doing. I want you to make a cake, a white cake for us, please, because then we can have that ready for when we need to edge up uh, Devin. I believe. Yeah, Devin. All right. 
Now, Faith, what are you doing? Your hygiene is terrible. That's fine. Did you get done with your babbling or your communication? No, you didn't because you didn't listen to what I told you to do. So go babble with that. Dang you, kid. The legit amount of water that is in the floor in this bathroom is disgusting. Somebody needs to mop that up. You know what, Casey? You can get up and you can mop this floor, please. And mop that too. And then I will let you go downstairs. You you may play a game on the computers. Your mental skill is already up. Your skills are great. I'm not worried about your skills right now. So you can just play a game, play Sims forever. Now, are you babbling, kid? Are you doing what I asked? You do not listen. You do not listen, Faith. I said babble. All right, Blake has reached level two of cooking. Good. Now, Blake, would you please add candles to this for me? Thank you. We are going to put this in the refrigerator for safekeeping. Hopefully it will be kept safe. Everly, are you still picking up that laundry? Did you pick up the laundry? What laundry has been picked up? All the laundry. Okay, Blake. I see that you might be tired, but can you repair this for me and also empty the trash out of it? Faith, what in the world? You don't listen, kid. You don't listen. Vani, how was your sleep? Your sleep is somewhat decent. What I want you to do, I need you to go take care of the baby. Baby care, change dirty diaper, and then we want you to feed her. And then we'll age her up as soon as she, as soon as Avani gets something in her tummy, as soon as Avani eats. Great. Now, Everly, I would like for you, if you could go downstairs, take a shower and then you can head to bed. Devin, did you get yourself up to thinking? Oh my gosh. Thinking is 94% complete. Everybody leave this kid alone. He needs, stop putting him to bed. No, I don't want, I don't want him to go to bed. Faith, you never even went to the bathroom. This kid doesn't listen for anything. Potty train, Faith. Balanced meal. Someone said eating dirt was okay, but someone else said eating dirt will make you die. Is it okay to eat dirt? <laughs> eat dirt. Eating dirt is really unhealthy. If you do, kids make tease you. Go ahead. Eating dirt is fun. What in the world would a parent Tell their children to go ahead and eat dirt. I mean, don't tell them to do it purposely. If it happens to happen, okay. But don't just make your child, tell your child that it's okay to eat dirt. I guess just eating dirt is really unhealthy, but I don't, I don't know about that. I don't, it depends on what's in it. Oh my gosh. Everybody in there needing help. Sometimes Blake says, sometimes I get so angry. I don't know what to do with myself. How can I deal with things when I can't even do a workout, talk it through with someone or scream into a pillow? Um, uh, scream into a pillow. We'll do that. Faith, you went to the bathroom. Okay. That is good to see. I'm glad you went to the bathroom. Now, Blake, what are you doing? Did you do your homework yet? Blake, you need to do that. And then you can go to sleep. Blake, where do you even sleep in this house? I think you sleep up here. <laughs> I don't even remember. Okay, Casey, you're uncomfortable because of things that are dirty. All right. Oh my God, Devin reached level three. Okay, he reached level three. We can age him up. Then we're going to go, you know what? I think I want to age up. Uh, I can age up Devin first. That's fine. Open the refrigerator. Bring this back out. Candles are still on it. All right, get get done. We don't need to do that anymore. Devin, let's make sure you're the one we're aging up. Yes, you're the one we're aging up. Ask to help to blow out candles, Avani. Avani, you can take care of it. All right, it's time to age him up. Okay, Devin, what skill are you going to have as a child? Uh, let's hope it's not a slob because everybody has that. All right, every time they're put down, they got to go in between the cabinets. Okay, in between the cabinet, age up. Devin aged up. Okay. He was clingy as a child. I forgot about that. Okay. Randomized traits. One, two, three. You are an adventurous Sim. That is awesome. Finally, something new. Adventurous. And you have a couple skills here on the bottom too. Okay. For you, if you're going to be adventurous, let's do your motor skill with that. That's fine. Oh, uh, Devin, you're so cute. Okay, Devin, what you got going on here, buddy? You can go to sleep, actually, after you get something to eat. 
So grab a serving and then we will assign you, Devin, Devin, you can be assigned this bed over here. Um, assign bed to Devin and then you can go to sleep in it. Okay, Blake, you're going to sleep. All right. Did you do your homework though? That, that's what I want to know. Is your homework done? Um, I don't even see that your homework is with you at the moment. Blake, you are not going to bed till that homework is finished. You're far too uncomfortable. God bless. Ah, oh, Blake. Okay, go to sleep for a while. That is fine. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go age up Gretchen. It's been a long time. She should have been aged up a while ago. We're running a little behind, but that's okay. This plate needs to be moved. I'm tired of it being plates being everywhere in this place. All right. What are you going to be, Gretchen? Okay. She is one, two, three. She is a calm baby. Yes. Awesome sauce. All right. Now, uh, Avani, you're not going to bed. Smile milestone unlocked. Yay. Avani, you're not going to bed. You're going to do some tummy time with her. That's what you're going to do. We need to get on top of this. Casey, you are extremely tired. I was wondering when you were going to go to bed. That is what you're going to be doing. Okay. Uh, Blake, I don't care if you don't want to do your homework. You're going to do it. And that's that. So get up and do that. Casey, have you done your homework? I need to make sure of it. Uh, yes, you did. But you could do extra credit work. But we're not going to do that right now. Everly, you are doing fine. You're sleeping. Devin, you are sleeping. And then Faith, you are sleeping in the tent. Avani, you're still doing tummy time with her. Why in the world can you not? Why do we have to do tummy time in the hallway? Second trimester is in two hours. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, Avani is apparently too tired to do anything else. And you just leave Gretchen on the floor. Uh, nice. Very, very nice. Blake, uh, I'm going to try to see if you can put Gretchen in a bed when you are done with your homework before you go to bed. Okay, thank you, Blake. Blake, you may now head to bed. I will allow it. Faith, come on. You need to go to sleep here. Wow, Faith is our only toddler right now. That's that's insane. And Faith doesn't seem to want to do anything. Faith is going to go to sleep here too. That means it's a miracle. Every single person will be asleep in this house until the next person wakes up. And of course, who is awake? Who is awake? It is Faith. Faith is awake. And she is very sad. Avani, how are you on your sleep? You're semi-decent. Will you please go get... Uh, no, we do not want to go with Blake to school. We'll send him alone. Can you please give Faith a bath? Give Faith a bath. She is just out, out of control here. All right. Casey's off to school. Everly's off to school. Maddox is going to the bathroom and he should be off to school. Devin, are you going to the bathroom or what, buddy? All right, he's going to the bathroom and he should be off to school too. All right. Wow, we're actually getting a successful bath. As long as she comes out clean, it's successful. Blake, will you get up? You have to go to school. All right, now you need to go to school. Oh, he doesn't have school today. That's right. He was just aged up in the middle of the night. So Faith, you're getting clean. I love to see this. You're going to be happy now. This is wonderful. Since Blake is off to school and every and Blake and Casey and Everly are off to school, we will try our best to go out to eat tonight. I hope we can get that taken care of. How long is this bath going to last? What the heck? All right, Gretchen is really hungry. After this bath, Avani needs to feed Gretchen. Faith, you are doing decent. What I would like you to do is go work on some of your skills. Um, do your communication. Go babble. Babble it out. Love letter. Everly is grabbing her lunch from her backpack when she notices something red inside. It's a note shaped like a heart with the words, you are cute, written on it and nothing else. She thinks it might be the new boy who always seems to stare. Does she ask him or wait to see? Uh, she'll wait to see. If he wants to tell her he likes her, he will. Everly decides to wait it out and see if anyone comes forward. Sure enough, at lunch, some friends laugh and wave to her. Hey, cutie, one taunts. Everly wads up the note and tosses it at them, laughing along with the joke. Someday it'll happen for real, but she's relieved it is not today. <laughs> well, Everly, if you end up being her next baby mama, it's going to happen multiple times. What do we got here with you? We need to get your social skill up. Let's see. You know, we can actually... 
Go do the monkey bars. We'll try to do the motor skill with you. Do that. Get that done if we can. Faith, did you? Good. You leveled up to level three of communication. Now, can we go outside and get your imagination skill done? Uh, make believe in this tent. Put Gretchen down here and we'll get some tummy time done with her. Lift pad milestone unlocked. Yes. Good job there, Gretchen. Good job. Gretchen, you can go to look at your own toys while Avani goes and takes care of her needs. Uh, Avani, you can head to the bathroom and then you can take a bath and then you can eat. All right, good. Faith is level two of imagination. This is wonderful and Faith needs to go to the bathroom. Good. Devin is motor level three. Reach milestone unlocked. Holla. Forrest, what you want? I'm delighted you recommend. You were amused the under entire time. I like it. Um, Avani, can you please potty train Faith like I asked you to do? I know you're hungry, but I need you to do what I ask. All right. Let's hope she's taking her to do that. I might. I know I only had two toddler potties in here. I might actually add another one in this other bathroom here because then that would be one on the other side of the house. I don't know. I might. It depends on the money. Would you potty train her, please? Uh, no, you're not going and eating any of that cake there, Devin. Devin, if you're hungry, you can go over here and eat a slider. Then, Devin, you can do your homework. We have one hour until everybody comes home and then we're going to be going out to dinner. We've got to do this because we need some money. Good job, Faith. You have finished going to the potty. Okay, uh, why don't you go to sleep? You are definitely needing it. Devin, you're still doing your homework. Good job. Avani, where are you at in the pregnancy? Second trimester in 54 minutes. Avani, you, we're going to at least get you a shower here. Take a bath. School is out for the day. Blake has a B still. What the heck? Grades are up. Awesome. KC has an A. Everly is back. Oh my God, KC. I'm so proud of you. You can be aged up into a teen. Okay, do we have that in the refrigerator still? No one has touched this. Great. KC, can you add your own candles here? Yes, you can. Blow out those candles there, buddy. All right, what are you going to be, Casey? Oh, you got a bonus trait, high self-esteem. What is your trait? One, two, three, you are materialistic. Oh, I had a feeling this was going to come because you loved all of your clothes so fancy. Fancy, fancy bright clothing. We will make you into, it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's just do popularity with you, uh, the joke star, because you seem like you're like that. Casey, you are beautiful. Okay, Casey, can you do me? Oh my gosh, Blake! Stop breaking everything. What is the problem with you? All right, Casey, can you do me a favor and go out and grab the mail? Uh, Blake, what is wrong with you? You need to get your skill to a level three. That's what you need to do. So I need you to cook us some more food there, bud. We have more food in this house than we've ever had before. Um, let's do some... That's only one thing. Meatball tamale bites. Let's do some of those. Casey has collected everything from the mailbox. Oh my gosh, there's so many toys. We're going to put those in the selling table. Put those in the selling table to sell. This is I knew this would happen because every time we get a kid. Uh, unwelcome present. Um, you can be grateful. Everybody's home. We are going to go after uh, Blake makes this food. We're going to go home. Of course, somebody took the cake after Casey a aged up. Ah, oh, for crying out loud. Okay, after Blake is done making this food, we are going to travel and go out to dinner with the fam. So who will be coming with us is uh, Blake, Casey, Everly, and Devin. All of them. It doesn't matter if Avani's tired or not. She's going to travel and we're all going to go out to eat. Okay, before we get into the restaurant, apparently Avani's uh, new personality trait that she would like to have is cheerful. That is a definite yes. The rest of them went to daycare. We are at this beautiful restaurant. Of course it's in the snow. Uh, now we're not going to be able to see how pretty it is. We can see part of it. But it's lit up at night and it is so beautiful. As you can see in this picture how pretty it is. Uh, Simply Jolly 92 did this restaurant called the Blue Lagoon. Love this restaurant as you can see here. I put a comment here to Simply Jolly 92. Beautiful. Using it in my current Let's Play. Let's go get ourselves a table. Avani's already sitting at the bar. 
Where's everybody else? Casey is sleeping in the dump. <laughs> Casey's sleeping in the dumpster. Are you serious, Casey? And Everly's over here waiting to be seated, and so is Devin. They're being patient, but Casey just had to take a sleep in the dumpster. Blake, where are you going? You're going to the table. Okay, well, everybody else needs to go to the table, too. Why are they only giving us a table for four people? There's five people here. What the heck? They sat us at a table for two. I'm not just here with my mom. Avani cannot sit at a table that is not hers. Oh, Avani, I guess you'll have to request your own table. Do they not have five-seater tables here? That might be what the issue is. I only see five, four-seaters. Four, and then up, yeah, they only have four-seater tables. Crap. We're still going to make this happen, though. Blake, who is sitting with you? I don't know, but you need to order for the table. Okay, order for the table. All right, Blake, you're by yourself. Okay, well, you know what? We have barely any money. You're going to order a water and you're going to order a, uh, chips and salsa because <laughs> we can't afford anything else but that. All right, you can do that. Avani, did you get your table requested? <laughs> Everly and Devin are just standing at the door ch chatting. Jokesters with Devin and Everly. That sounds good to me. All right, it looks like Avani is going to the bathroom, but where the heck is her table? I have no idea where her table is. Well, we are trying to attempt to do this, but I have no idea where my own table is at. Here's your order. Enjoy. Well, at least Blake's getting his food. Okay, here's Avani's table. There, now she can sit here. They, how much? I swear to God, they literally only gave a table for like one person. Wow. Well, we're attempting to take the family out to eat. You know what, Blake? While you're, oh my God, Blake, your needs. Everly found Pita and Hummus Tapas in the dumpster. Check the inventory. I guess Everly is that uh, hungry she's dumpster diving. Blake is going to have an energy failure? Yeah, I know, Blake. Where is the freaking bathroom in this place? Okay, Blake, you can go to the bathroom. Use that, okay? And then wash your hands multiple times. Okay, dude, I have said to order for the table for Avani. I don't know how many times. This does not seem to be working. I legit, okay, I'm going to call this a day. We did come to the restaurant. We brought all the family here. Blake did eat. So I will call that a success because it did happen. So <laughs> I guess we're going to leave here because everybody's needs are just absolutely terrible. But this restaurant is so beautiful. The person that created this did a great job. We'll probably come back here at some point though. We are all back home from the restaurant. Everybody's needs are abysmal. Blake, what you can do is go downstairs, take a shower and go to sleep. You have school in the morning, but we'll get you up in the middle of the night to do your homework. Casey, you can go take a shower as well. You can do it upstairs in mom's bath. Then you can go to the bathroom. And did you get your homework done? No, Everly, you're eating. Okay, that's great. Pita and hummus tapas. What in the heck? Everly, you grossy. You can't be having that in your inventory. Faith, how are your needs? Your needs are great. Faith, what do you need to work on on your skills? Communication is done. Movement is almost done. Let's go finish your imagination skill out here in the tent. Blake, you are viewing cobwebs. That is not what you need to be doing, Blake. Are you serious, Blake? Would you take a shower and go to the bathroom, please? And then go to sleep. Everly, you're going to bed. Uh, before you go to bed, I would prefer it if you did your homework. And then you can go to bed. Avani, you're tired. I, I know. But I need you to do a little bit of tummy time with, uh, with Gretchen. We need to get Gretchen going. Gretchen, how many milestones do you have, Gretchen? You've got one, two, three. You need three more. Oh, my goodness. I know you're upset, but you have to learn how to do this. Faith, did you even do what I asked? Faith, seriously, go finish your imagination skill. I told you to do that. Homework complete with Everly. Nice to see it. Everly, can you start going and emptying the trash? Do that and then you can go to bed. You'll be emptying trash for days. That's fine. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Devin, you're asleep. But did you do your homework, Devin? Yeah, looks like you did. Real quick, here is Everly's cold weather outfit. By the way, speaking of her outfits, I will put in a link in the description below Everly's clothing. 
Uh, it is by Mysterious Double O and Lillian from Sims Resource. So I'll put those in the description. Faith, you are done with that. Good job, good job. You're done with your imagination skill. Now, we need to work on your thinking skill. Thinking blinking. Blake is getting his sleep up, but unfortunately, I know he has no energy, but he needs to get up and do his homework. Blake is just constantly tense, like every freaking second. What is this? Lobster roll? Roll over to back milestones unlocked. Yes, you got those done. Okay, Avani, why don't you go over here and eat something? Go have a serving of that, and then you can head to bed. Blake, you're doing not what I asked. Oh my god, Blake. Okay, can you, like, play a game or something so you get something taken care of? Where is your homework, buddy? Where did you put it? Oh my God. In this place, where is he going to put the... Okay, he put his homework down over here. All right. I don't care what is going on with you. You need to get that done. Vani has actually eaten for once in her life. Now she's having an energy failure and she's falling right on top of Faith. Okay, Everly, you're doing good. Okay, what I want you to do is you can go start emptying the trash. We have a, a lot of people here that can help us get things clean. You need to wake up Gretchen and we're going to have her play with her toys and stuff so that we can get her milestones up. Oh my gosh, poor Blake. He didn't even do his homework. I have tried to have him do his homework multiple times and he didn't even do it. Today's mail's been delivered. I am concerned. I guarantee you it's our bills. Speaking of bills, I need to go into here and add 500 Somalians for our successful thing. <laughs> Was it really successful though? The whole family did not eat, but hey, we did go there and one person ate. Few people were seated. Grab milestones unlocked. One more to go with you, I think. We'll check and see. Two, four, five. One more to go with you, kid. One more to go and you can get aged up as well. Everyone is off to school. We have four people in school right now and two people at home. Faith, oh, we, we need to get you going on your stuff. How much more do you have to go? You need two more of thinking and two more of potty and a little bit more movement. First blowout milestone unlocked. We can age up Gretchen. Do we even have enough energy to make a cake? Yes, we do. Okay, good. We found Casey in a bathroom stall today eating a sandwich. This is unexpected. And we're, I was fearing what they were going to say that they found him doing in the bathroom. But anyway, I'm glad it was just eating a sandwich. Okay, this is unexpected and we're not sure what to make of it, but figured we should call. That's just wrong when you're hungry and need to go. <laughs> excellent time management. I'm going to say excellent time management. <laughs> He isn't even going to come. He's not going to come home with an A. He isn't going to. Oh, he might. Oh, he won't because he doesn't have a skill to level three. He probably is going to have bad performance in school because of how tired he is. And also he didn't do his homework. Cool milestone unlocked. Well, we're waiting for this cake. Avani, add them birthday candles. And then we're going to go pick up Gretchen and we're going to age her up. No. All right, Gretchen, what are you going to be? What the heck? Today, the principal is visiting Devin's class. Everyone is to be on their best behavior and not interrupt the lesson. Unfortunately, the kid sitting behind him decided to pelt him with something. I asked the kid to stop. Uh, Devin scribbles a note. Uh, stop or I'll tell. Um, the teacher sends them both into the hallway. Well, that's not good. All right, Gretchen, what are you now? One, two, three. You are inquisitive. Curious explorers. These toddlers gain thinking. Skill slightly faster. Heck yeah. They are happiest when learning something and sad if they haven't learned anything lately. Oh, Gretchen, you are just adorable. Annie has left Gretchen a gift. Good deal. Um, Gretchen, you can go over here and grab one of these and then we'll just uh, do... No, you know what? No, we're going to babble with this and get your communication going. Faith, you are doing decent on your stuff. What I want you to do is get up and do your thinking blinking skill. How are Casey's needs? When he gets home, oh, we need to get somebody out of this house because next episode, this whole house is going to be full. We're not going to be able to get pregnant if we don't have someone out of here. So I don't know what to do about that right now. We will work it out when the time arrives. Avani, can you please go repair that and then also uh, polish this to perfection? Cheerful lesson for her. Okay, you 
worked on your communication. You are level two on that. Why don't we send you to sleep there, uh, Gretchen? Gretchen has freckles. They're so cute. She has her daddy's freckles. Okay, Faith, good job. You have reached level two of thinking. You can quit doing that for now and come grab a grilled cheese. Okay, Blake's results are below average in exam. Grades are up. Okay, Everly, you got your grade up to a B. That is absolutely wonderful. Your needs are not that great, uh, but I do want you to do your homework. Uh, Blake, we all know that you are going to refuse to do your homework. So what I want you to do is come here and go straight to sleep. Casey, you can head to bed too. All of you guys can get some sleep. You know what? They all don't have school until Monday now. Crap. She's going to have her baby first. We'll figure this out. We'll figure it out. It'll all get taken care of. Devin, how are you? You know what? I never thought about that. Okay, Devin, you can go outside and play on the jungle gym a couple more times to get your motor skill up. Let's hope that it gets you up all the way. And then after that, we're going to have you do your homework. Good job, Everly. Your homework is complete. We are going to have you go down and go to bed too. All you guys are exhausted and need that sleep. Devin, I actually just realized that I did not get you into scouts yet. So Devin, we also need to call and get you, or not call, but get you into the scouts. Devin has level four motor skill. He's now going to do his homework. Well, you know what? He's going to join an after school activity, his uh, scouts, and then he's going to do his homework. Okay, Blake, you have a little bit of health here, or a little bit of health. Blake, you have a little bit of um, energy here. We're going to get you to play a game to see if you can become untense. Okay, Blake, you are good on that. Now, can we please get your homework done there, bud? Casey, you're decent on your sleep. What I want you to do is get up here and go start a yard sale for me. Stock the table and start a yard sale. We need to get some more money going, more money flow through this house. All right, Devin completed his homework. Good job, Devin. Let's get some mac and cheese and then you can go downstairs and head to bed. Casey has started a yard sale with all of our stuff. This is wonderful. Faith, what do we got going on here with you? You need to work on your thinking skill and your potty. Okay, you don't need to go potty right now, but we're going to get you up and get you working on your thinking skill. Gretchen, we are going to get you up and get you something to eat. And then we're going to get you working on your, let's see, we're going to work on your communication skill over here still. See if we can get that taken care of. Blake, you are almost done with your homework. Don't let me down there, buddy. All right, Blake is done with his homework. Great. Now he can go upstairs and he can grab himself a grilled cheese. And then I want you to cook us something so you can get your skill up to a level three. Um, how about some eggs and toast? You can cook that for us. And then after that, you can head to bed because then you're all caught up on what you need to be caught up on. Faith has reached movement level three. This is wonderful. Oh, no, level two. No, it said level three. What the heck? Casey, what are you doing? You don't need to eat cake. God bless, Casey. We had a full cake and you just went and ate it. Casey, why don't you go downstairs and play uh, a game so that you can quit being so dang tense? Ooh, Avani could give birth at any minute. Oh, boy. Uh, Faith, what are you doing? I told you to go do th communication skill. Go babble with the babble with the cat. Awesome, Gretchen. You are done with your communication. Now, let's go to imagination over here. Go make believe in that tent, girl. Hey, Faith has reached potty level two. She can now go by herself, and all of her needs are getting terrible. Okay, Casey, now that you have done that, why don't you go head to bed for the night? Gretchen, you are done with your imagination skill. You are doing wonderful. We do not want you using your diaper at all. We want to get you potty help from Avani. Okay, Blake, your sleep is all the way up. We need to get your skills up today because, buddy, you, <laughs> you've been struggling for days. You really, truly have. And Casey, I've told you repeatedly, you need to go tend the table and start a yard sale. We need money. 
Okay, Faith, your sleep is up decently. What we need to do with you, you have, all you have left is your potty to finish and your thinking. So we're going to have you go potty multiple times here and see if we can get that up some. Gretchen, you just went to sleep because your sleep is absolutely terrible. Devin, you're down here chatting with Blake. You guys are getting your relationship up because Blake has such terrible socials right now. Everly, you have been working on cleaning things up. I think you're wanting to go to nap. No, what you're going to do is go to sleep. Vani, before you do anything else, I want you to go get the mail. I feel that the bills are going to be in it. I truly do. Casey, the yard sale's almost over. You did sell a few things, but I still want you to keep working on this there, buddy. What did... Hey, who's this? Oh, Matthias Caps is coming to the sale. Faith, how you doing on your potty scale there, kid? 29%. Okay, Blake, how are your needs? Your needs are actually getting much better, Blake. You can go use that bathroom... And then I want you to do your extra credit homework, please. Had to pause it on Everly real quick. Here is her PJs from Mysterious Double O. Aren't these cute? I love them. They're adorable. Blake has completed his extra credit homework. Hopefully that helps him get better going on getting an A the next day he goes to school. Now we can come in here and cook more food for the fam because we are starting to run low and we need to get things uh, working out here. So we can do some tofu tacos. Oh, Avani's gone into labor. Okay, let's go over here and have the baby. I am hoping for a boy this time. Let's see what we get. Oh, it is a boy. That is awesome. I am going to name this boy Hunter. And the last name is going to be Mead. Hunter Mead for good old daddy-o's last name. Welcome to the world, Hunter Mead. You are adorable. What we are going to do, we have a full house right now. I am going to continue to play until Monday when everyone gets home from school. I am not going to have, obviously, I'm not going to get pregnant and have a baby. I'm going to play Monday when everybody gets home from school. I will hope that Blake ages up into an adult and then we can get him out of the house. That is exactly what I'm hoping for. So I will be back with you as soon as the kids get home from school on Monday. And in between there, if anybody else ages up, I will let you know. I am back. It is now Monday at 2.51 a.m. Faith has finally gotten all of her skills up. So we are going to age her up. And I'm hoping when Blake comes home from school today, we'll be able to age him up as well. So let's get Faith aged up here into a child. Okay, Faith, what is your skill going to be? Ooh, you are a glutton. Nice. That's the first glutton I think we've had in the house. We are going to also give her a mental... That's fine. We'll give her the mental one. Oh, Faith, you're adorable. I love it. Yeah, you got some freckles too. Okay, so I will be back again once everyone is back from school. Awesome! Blake just came home with an A. This is amazing. And you know what? Casey's grades are up to a B, Everly's are up to a B, and so are Devin's. Everyone is great. Okay, so we are going to age up Blake into an adult and move him out. So the next episode, we will be all set up and good to go to be having our next gathering to have a baby. All right, Blake, what is your next trait going to be? You are currently a cat lover, a lactose intolerant sim, and one, two, three, you are non-committal. Oh, Blake. Oh, Blake, what are we going to do with you? We are going to do friend of the animals aspiration with you. Awesome. And you graduated with honors nonetheless. Heck yeah. Diploma earned. Okay, Avani, I know you're asleep, but you need to come over here and take a picture of Blake so we can add him to the wall, please. Oh, this is so perfect. Blake has been upset for so long. I think this is just great for him. Oh, I love this so much. Okay, 
So here we go with Blake. This is perfect. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, Blake, you are funny. It's going to be sad to have him move out too because he was our second child. Blake, it was your last day here. You are now an adult. When we return, Blake will no longer be living with us. He will be in the apartment in Evergreen Harbor with Annie. It has been a good one today. That is for sure. We will be back next time. And we will be continuing on. And Avani will be then having baby number nine. She only has nine and ten to go. And then we will be probably having Everly Yamamoto be the new mom. If you have any feedback or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. And also subscribe if you enjoyed the video so you won't miss any new content from me in the future. Until next time, have a wonderful day.